Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss illustrating circular functions. As shown in the figure, we we'll let R, so we we'll let R be the di distance of point P from the origin. So X be the horizontal distance from the Y axis and Y, this one, this side, be the vertical distance from the X axis and we can solve R or yung radius natin by using Pythagorean theorem. So, as you can see, class, nakapag-form tayo ng right triangle. So, given the angle na itong angle nito, so we have a right triangle with hypotenuse R. And side X and Y, so the vertices of the right triangles are O, ito yung point O dito sa origin natin, at yung point P, and the right angle form a side. Yung y natin ay perpendicular to the side ng x-axis natin. So, mula dito, mapaform natin yung anim na circular functions. So, ano yung anim na circular functions? First is the sine theta. Kung matatandaan nyo yung lesson nyo during grade 9 about trigonometric functions, so, mas madali para sa inyo. So, yung unang circular function natin is sine theta or sinusulat din natin, denoted as uh, sin or sine theta. So, tinanggal lang yung e. And that is opposite over hypotenuse. So, kung ito yung angle natin, given angle, so opposite niya, that is y, and hypotenuse is the radius. So, ito, ito yung longest side is the radius or the hypotenuse. So, kapag kukunin natin yung sine theta, that is y over r. Next, uh, circular function is the cosine theta. Cosine theta, so in, uh, sinusulat natin ng shortcut, cos theta. And that is adjacent dun sa angle. Adjacent, ibig sabihin katabi niya. Okay, adjacent, ito yung angle natin. Ito yung side na adjacent dito. And that is x over, since hypotenuse, the longest side, that is r. So, x over r. Next is the tangent theta. Okay, the tangent theta. Tangent theta, so denoted as tan theta, that is opposite over adjacent. So, opposite of the angle and then adjacent. So, that is y over x. And then, meron pa tayong tatlong circular functions na reciprocal nitong tatlo. Okay, pag nakuha na natin kasi itong tatlo, makukuha rin natin yung reciprocal nito. So, ang reciprocal ng sine theta is cosecant theta. Cosecant theta or cos, denoted as uh, CSC theta pala. Okay, denoted as CSC theta, so that is hypotenuse over opposite. So, babalik ta rin lang natin ito. Okay? So, that is R over Y. And then, uh, reciprocal naman ng cosine, that is secant. Secant is uh, denoted as sec theta. Okay? So, that is hypotenuse over adjacent. So, bagnalik ta lang din natin ito. And that is R over X. And last is the cotangent or cot theta. So, that is hypotenuse. Now, this is opposite over adjacent. So, palitan natin ito. Opposite over adjacent. Dapat yan. Next is the cotangent. So, denoted as cot theta. And that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, kabalik tala lang ng tangent. And that is x over y. So, from the six circular functions, so in a unit circle, tandaan natin that the radius is equal to 1 at laging positive yung radius natin. So, kung ang radius natin is equal to 1, uh, we can derive another formula of circular functions. So, like for example, yung cosine natin, pwede, uh, yung cosine theta is equal to x. Why? So, kung ang radius natin is 1, okay, so x over 1, so x na lang. So, cosine theta is also equal to x. And then, same with sine theta. Okay, sine theta, that is uh, y divide 1. 
So kung ang R natin, isa-substitute natin yung 1 dito sa R natin. So Y divide 1, the answer is Y. So yung sine theta natin is Y. So kung baga itong point na to, yung X na yan, that is cosine, and then yung Y, that is the sine. Okay? And then tangent theta, so same pa rin naman yung tangent theta natin. And then yung cosecant, okay, yung reciprocal nito, so that is 1 over y. Okay, yung reciprocal ng sine theta, 1 over y. And then yung secant theta, so that is, kung babalik na rin natin ito, so that is 1 over x. Okay, another, pwede pa natin ma-derive mula dyan. Okay, yung cosecant theta, that is r over y. So, yung r natin is uh, 1. And then, yung y natin, that is sine. Tama ba? Or reciprocal ng cosecant theta natin, para mas madaintandaan, ng, that is 1 over sine theta. Okay? And then, secant theta, reciprocal niyan, is 1 over cosine theta. And then, also, pag cotangent, 1 over tangent theta. And remember, in quadrant 1, all circular function are positive. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng sign dito, positive, yung anim no, na circular functions. In quadrant 2, only sine and cosecant are positive. So, yung dalawa lang, ang positive, the rest, negative na. Sa quadrant 3, only tangent and cotangent are positive. So, silang dalawa lang yung positive, yung apat, negative yung sign. And sa quadrant 4, only cosine and secant are positive. So, dapat ta uh, matandaan din natin ito. And of course, uh, gamit yung circular function na, pwede nyo itong i-print para mas madali sa atin kunin yung coordinates. Like for example, ang given is 40 degrees. Okay, so ano yung coordinate ng 40 degrees? Mas madali sa atin kunin. Okay, uh, mas mapadali sa atin yung pagkuha at pag-solve ng problems. So, ito, pwede nyo itong i-print. Okay, ng multiples of 30 to. Okay. So, ito yung mga special angles, di ba? It's up first quadrant, yung 30, 45, 60, and 90. Uh, mas madali sa atin kunin yung coordinates. Okay, for example, number 1, if sine theta is 8 over 10 in quadrant 1, find the remaining circular functions. So, kung babalikan natin yung formula na pinakita kanina about sine, so that is uh, y over r. So, yung y natin dito, that is 8. No? So, yung y natin is 8 and then yung radius natin is 10. So, y is equal to 8 and r is equal to 10. So, ang hinahanap natin is x. So, para makuha natin yung uh, remaining circular functions, kailangan natin kunin muna yung value ng x. So, gamit ang formula ng Pythagorean theorem. So, r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So, isi-substitute lang natin yung may given na tayo. So, yung r natin is 10 is equal to the square root of x squared plus 8 squared. So, yung y natin is 8. So, that will become 8, 8 squared. And then, squared natin to both side ng equation natin para matanggal natin itong square root dito. Okay? So, yung radical sign dito, pwede natin tanggalin yan by squaring both side ng equation. Pag in-squared natin, so itong 10, magiging 10 squared. And mawawala na ito, itong radical sign natin. O yung square root natin na tinatawag. Okay, so maging ganyan na, 10 squared is equal to x squared plus 8 squared. Since ang sinusolve natin is x, so pagsamahin natin itong 10 squared saka 8 squared. So, x squared is equal to 10 squared. Kapsa pag nilipat sa 8 squared doon kay 10, magiging minus yung sign niya or negative yung sign. Okay, that's 10 squared minus 8 squared, that is 36. Since 10 squared is 100, 8 squared is 64, so 100 minus 64, the answer is 36. Since may squared pa tayo dito, is squared natin, no? Uh, both side ng equation natin. Is squared natin sila. Para x na lang talaga maiwan dito. So, square root of 36, that is positive and negative 6. 
Okay, so the value of x, ang kukunin lang natin dito ay yung positive 6. Okay, kasi yung sign natin, since sign yung given, uh, ang given natin, and then, ang sign kasi, and cosine dapat natin ay positive. Nasa, since nasa quadrant 1, so therefore, dapat positive yung kunin natin. Okay, so malalaman din natin kung positive or negative, depende dun sa binigay na problem. Since nasa quadrant 1, ibig sabihin, yung x natin doon ay positive. Okay, so kukunin natin yung positive 6. Kunin na natin yung uh, uh, limang remaining na circular function. So, yung cosine theta natin, that is x over r. So, 6 over 10. So, kunin natin yung lowest term na 6 over 10. So, pwede nyo itong gawin sa calculator mas para mas mabilis sa, in sa inyo. So, that is 3 over 5. Next is tangent theta, y over x. So, yung y natin is uh, 8. And then, yung x natin ay 6. So, that is 8 over 6. Sa so, lo lowest term natin, that is 4 over 3. And the cosecant theta. So, kabaliktaran na lang ito. No? Cosecant theta, nung sign natin, that is 10 over 8. Or 5 over 4. Okay? So, 10 over 8 or 5 over 4. And secant theta, kabalik tara ng cosine, that is 5 over 3. And cotangent theta, so kabalik tara nito, that is 3 over 4. So, another example, we have the point uh, negative 2, negative 3 is on the terminal side of theta. So, find the trigonometric function of Theta. So, as you can see, class, parehong negative yung x and y. So, saan ba natin matatagpuan na ang uh, x and y ay parehong negative? So, sa quadrant 3. So, ibig sabihin, kapag sa quadrant 3, ang tanging positive lang doon ay yung tangent and cotangent. Tama? So, pinakita kanina. So, makikita na, machi-check nyo rin yung sagot doon sa pamamagitan noon. So, again, si negative 2 and negative 3 ay matatagpuan sa quadrant 3. At the same time, ang uh, positive lang na circular function sa quadrant 3 ay tangent and cotangent. Okay, so yung x natin dito ay negative 2, ang y ay negative 3. So, ang hinahanap yung value ng radius natin. So, yung radius natin, okay, so using the formula, so substitute natin yung x, negative 2 squared plus negative 3 squared, and that is 4. Okay, negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 3 squared is 9. So, add 4 plus 9. So, r is equal to 4. Uh, square root of 4 plus 9. And then, 4 plus 9 is square root of 13. So, ito yung value niya. Ang ating r ay square root of 13. So, kukunin na natin yung circular functions. So, yung sine theta y over r, okay, so yung y over r natin, so yung y natin is negative 3, yung r natin square root of 13. So, what do you think? Yan na ba yung final answer natin? So, hindi pa yung final answer natin. Since may, ra may radical tayo sa denominator, so ang gagawin natin, multiply natin. Para mawala ito, multiply natin both numerator and denominator by square root of 13. Okay. So, negative 3 times square root of 13, ang sagot dyan is negative 3 square root of 13. Pero yung sa baba, square root of 13 times square root of 13, pareho sila ng index, kaya pwede natin sila i-multiply. So, uh, 13 times 13, that is 169. So, square root of 169 ay 13. Or kapag sanay na kayo, since pareho naman sila na 13 yung minumultiply natin, so, kunin nyo na lang yung radical. So, maiwan yung kung ano yung number na multiply natin. Okay? So, third, ito yung final answer natin. Hindi, hindi pa ito. Okay? Negative 3 square root of 13 over 13. How about the cosine theta? So, yung x natin is negative 2. And then, yung r is square root of 13. So, kagaya sa ginawa sa sign, multiply din natin sa square root of 13. So, negative 2 times square root of 13, that is negative 2 square root of 13 over 13. And tangent theta, so yung y natin is negative 3. 
And then, yung x natin is negative 2. So, since pareho silang negative, that is 3 over 2. Positive 3 over 2 na. And then, babalik na rin lang natin sa cos second theta. So, that is square root of 13 over 3. Okay, ayusin lang natin, ilagay natin yung negative sign natin sa gitna nila. Okay, instead na ilagay mo dito sa baba, ng, uh, kay negative 3, so pwede mo namang ilag dito ilagay para maayos tingnan. Okay, sa gitna nila. And then, second theta, so kabalik na rin lang dito, no? so that is negative square root of 13 over 2. So, and then, tangent theta, so kabalik na rin nito, so that is 2 over 3. For example, number 3, so remember, uh, kung saan positive lang yung mga circular function natin. So ulitin ko lang, sa quadrant 1, positive lahat. Sa quadrant 2, sine and cosecant lang ang positive. Sa quadrant 3, tangent and cotangent lang ang positive. Sa quadrant 4, cosine and secant lang ang positive. So kagaya na example number 3, if cosine theta is equal to negative square root of 11 over 5, and cotangent theta is positive. So sa cosine, so saan ba yung cosine ay negative? Okay, so dito kasi positive yung cosine natin. At sa quadrant 4, positive din. So, quadrant 2 and 3 lang ang pagpilian natin. Kung saan natin matatagpuan yung given natin. Since meron pang uh, given dito yung isa, na ang cotangent daw natin ay positive. So, saan daw positive yung cotangent? So, sa quadrant 3. So, therefore, uh, saan na sa quadrant 3 ito? No? Yung given natin. Mat matatagpuan natin sa quadrant 3. So, makukuha natin yung other values of the trigonometric functions. So, cosine theta is x over r. So, yun yun, no? yung negative square root of 11 over 5. So, yung x natin is negative square root of 11. And then, yung r natin ay 5. So, ang kukunin natin ngayon yung value ng y. Okay, so gamit yung calculator nyo, pwede nyo naman i-direct sa calculator. So, the square root of 5 squared minus, tapos lagyan pa ng parenthesis kasi na may negative sign yung square root of 11, squared. So, negative square root of 14. So, yun ang makukuha nyo yung sagot. Negative square root of 14. Okay, so tatandaan na sa quadrant 3 ito, so ang positive lang dito ay tangent and cotangent. So kunin natin yung other circular function. So yung sine theta natin is, so yung y natin yung negative square root of 14, and then yung r natin is 5. Okay, so ayusin lang natin to So ilagay natin yung negative sign dito sa gitna pag nilagay nyo. So that is negative square root of 14 over 5. Sa cosine theta naman, yung x natin is negative square root of 11. So, that is negative square root of 11 over 5. And then, sa tangent, okay, so y over x, so that is negative square root of 14 over negative square root of 11. Since pareho silang negative, and then, magiging positive na ito, eh, may radical tayo sa baba. So, i-multiply natin sa square root of 11, no? So, maging positive na ito sila, class, same naman silang positive. So, square root of 11 times square root of 11, ay, square root of 14 times square root of 11, that is, square root of 154. And then, uh, 11 na lang may iwan sa baba. And that is tangent theta. For cosecant theta, r over y, so, babalik na rin natin ito. That is 5 over negative 14. Since may radical tayo sa baba, multiply natin ang numerator and denominator natin ng square root of 14 or negative square root of 14. So, 5 times negative square root of 14, that is negative 5 square root of 14. So, ito maging square root of 14 ito. Or, I mean, itong din, uh, denominator natin maging 14 na lang. So, the final answer is negative 5 square root of 14 over 14. Second theta, we have r over x. So, that will become uh, 5 over negative square root of 11. Since same ng uh, problem sa cosecant, so multiply natin no, sa negative square root of 11. So, the final answer is negative 5 square root of 11 over 11. 
And for cotangent, so babalik na rin lang natin ito. Okay, or ito nang gamitin nyo. Pwede rin naman ito or pwede ito. So, 11 over square root of 154. So, since may radical ulit, imumultiply natin sa 154. And the answer is 11 square root of 154 over 154. Okay, malulowest term pa natin yung 11 and 154, no? Pwede pa pala natin ito yung lowest term by dividing 11. Okay, so wala na may iwan dito, square root of 154 na lang, dito 14. So malulowest term pa natin yung 11 saka 154. So that will be the final answer, square root of 154 over 14. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.